What is up, everybody? Codename Soap here, coming at you today with um, another absurd gun combination uh, <laughs> attachment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have the M14 uh, with the IR or infrared scope. Uh, this one was requested to me um, after uh, my Uzi with the ACOG scope uh, video. This was the next one that was requested, so I said, "All right, let's let's do this." Um, so let's let's just dive right into it and talk about the gun. So um, the it's it's a very weird combination. The reason I say it's weird is because you get a great advantage to one side of it that's completely just offset by another. So let me give you an example. So infrared scope, um, essentially anything at least as far as your your enemies go uh, is just lit up bright white like that right there. Um, unless they're using Ghost Pro. Uh, Ghost Pro, one of the uh, benefits of it is that you don't show up like that on uh, just basically the scope. You show up uh, kind of dark, and so <laughs> big disadvantage if someone's using Ghost Pro and you try to look at them, they will more or less disappear sometimes unless it's a very brightly lit area. Um, so there's one advantage slash disadvantage. Um, another is that the scope will sway around a lot like a sniper rifle scope, but if you hold your breath, you can steady it just like a sniper rifle scope. But disadvantage there is that, um, yes, you can just sit there and pull the trigger, pull the trigger, and, and spam it, and it'll it'll fire pretty, pretty well, but um, it loses all its accuracy because the scope is swaying around. It's... Uh, it's it's a really frustrating combination because this has a lot of potential to be a very very great combination, but you've got all these things working against against it, and I can understand why because it would be almost unstoppable. You could be at a really far distance, you could see more or less everybody without being seen if you play your cards right, and kill everyone within a couple of shots. I mean that's that's a great combination if if you you know like to lay back in the cut. Um, or if you're a camper, and <laughs> camper. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I I wouldn't recommend using this um, unless you're you know someone like me who's trying to disappoint themselves and playing this this game with this combination, or you know you're just wanting you know something something different than the usual um, guns. I mean, it's worth a try. It's it's not it's not horrible by any means, but it's not a good combination like you couldn't I mean I'm not saying that there's not someone out there who can do work with it but I can't so I'm I personally am not going to recommend it anyway let me let me talk about something else so at the very start of the video or you know a couple times you may have seen I'm using Ghost Pro that's right I said it it had to be said um, and apparently well I don't want to say apparently but there's this kind of somewhat unspoken slash very outspoken rule about YouTube commentary uh, commenters commentary people if you will haha uh, that they uh, there's certain things they can't do and some of them are let's see you can't use ghost as one of your perks um, you can't use the famos you can't use the AK 74 you um, all this other stuff, but you know, even even on a broader topic than that, um, the community as a whole just doesn't like it when you use these, even though they're part of the game that you bought. You can't use them. I, I've I've never quite understood it. Um, but my take on the whole thing, and you know, if you guys agree, cool. If you don't, cool. Let, let's let's have a discussion. Um, my whole thing is, it's not the perks themselves. It's not the weapons themselves, with the exception of. Second chance or last stand or whatever it is, because you know what? I killed you. I don't need to kill you twice. That that's stupid. <laughs> that's the only one that bugs me. Um, other than that, it's not the perks and all that themselves. It's the people who are using them and what they do with them. Um, you know, you give someone this advantage of not being able to be detected on radar or by basically by anything other than a blackbird. But if that person just kind of sits in a corner with it, yeah, that's that's frustrating. That's, you know, come on, you know, do something. <laughs> but, you know, I I mean, I don't think it's the perks. It's the people who use them. It's, uh, I, it just frustrates me because I see a lot of comments, you know, of 
don't use this weapon. You can only... You can't use this one. You have to use, um, you know, the freaking Uzi. What do you got? <laughs> you can't, you can't, you know, it, it's frustrating, you know. Um, I want to know if you guys agree or disagree, you know, what you think, what, you know, what's going on out there. Um, relatively short video here, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, and yes, I want to make a series of these ridiculous weapons, so... Please tell me what you want to see as far as the next ridiculous weapon uh, combination slash setup, you know, perks or whatever. Just throw your uh, suggestions at me. But I hope you enjoyed and take care of yourselves.